Good, welcome, folks, to our batters. Badgers and dragons? Badgers and dragons. It's an accent, so sometimes it sounds like something else. Okay. Fires and dragons. Fires and dragons! Holy moly. There he is. Hi. Welcome to... <laughs> Welcome to Bears and Dragons for a bunch of us <laughs> nerdy ass at Gamer Bears. Get around and play, and play Dungeons and Dragons. Travis's daddy. Point two. I mean, he is literally a daddy. Who is? Travis, Travis Willingham. Willingham. I don't yeah, know. I, I was born about two years ago. He He's um, a voice actor who plays on uh, Critical Role. Oh, okay. um, he was the guy who did Grog in the first camp in their first campaign, and uh, was the warlock slash paladin of his campaign. Oh, okay, Yord. The second campaign, which just ended last week, you know, I started back off. For, I decided this like I was remembering everything as it was going for like each episode. Like I was like episode five. I'm like I'm remembering all this. I'm just going to skip ahead to where I was off when I last stopped. <laughs> so I'm back into episode 42. 99 more episodes to go. Guess what episode I'm on? Hmm? Guess what episode I'm on? Two. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I was right. Now, yeah. is that campaign one, episode two, or campaign two, episode two? There's two two episodes. Season two. two. Season two. I campaign didn't two. watch. I didn't watch the first one. It's okay. You don't have to. It's not like they. I know. Well, they will tie in together on the 18th. Oh yeah, I can't, I'm so excited. Oh yes, I'm so yes. excited <laughs> because it, you have to realize that I got into Critical Role during Campaign during... One. Yeah, so seeing some stuff from Campaign One is what got me into D and D. Yeah, and it it it's just I I I still my heart is still with Campaign One, but although I did thoroughly enjoy Campaign Two. Uh, I well, do think that Marisha was more herself in Campaign 2. Yeah. But she did a pretty good job during Campaign 1. Uh, well, my only uh, critical role of pop vinyl is, uh, or at least D &D, even D&D related pop vinyl, is Grog. I did just order Grog's set, dice set. So. <laughs> I mean, in the end, Grog had a And in his one off, his one sh the one shot where they went to find him, he just wrecked face at the end. Because he crit, which has like three extra damage dice. Twice. I, I don't think the three extra, the brutal cr critical extra dice gets doubled during during that, but. But yeah, he yeah he did it twice. All right, enough uh, critical role things. Uh, everybody, uh, die. Roll the die. I said ready. Oh, everyone's ready. ready I'm ready to kill. I'm ready to kill a dragon, or knock out a dragon. I'm not supposed to kill this one. Yeah, it's, 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 it's just it's just a go-to when it's a dragon. I'm ready to kill a dragon. I know. Like, wait. I know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> sounds like wait. Nope, not not supposed to do that. 
on the screen. It's only if I access it. All right. I'm gonna get a drink. I'll be right back. So I, have I can three. still hear you though. All right. So. Oh, Previously on uh, Bears and Dragons, we started Campaign 2. <laughs> oh, oh, this is the wrong screen. No, not that screen. Edit. I'm screwed. I'm the wrong screen. So I do have three beams of electric blast right now. All right, so previously on Bears and Dragons, what happened on the last time? Uh, as you said, we started campaign two. Uh, all new characters. <laughs> um, new group. Uh, since the Pirates of Faith uh, had a boo boo when they went down to Avernus, um, a new group was brought together to try to collect their soul. Um, after a nice little shopping period and all, and everyone got equipped to how they wanted and whatnot. Um, we were off to find a, um, a specific kind of dragon. That name is escaping me right now. Incarnum um, Dragon, which, by the Karnum. way, uh, Boy, a.k.a. Uh, Chetant, is half Incarnum Dragon. You get a and full Incarnum Dragon. In Robin Koros. Yes, and we were, um, he's gone a little crazy for some reason or another. So we are tasked to try to calm him down, subdue him, since he is a servant of the Raven Queen, who we are hoping, and if we were able to bring back her servant, she would be willing to help us out with um, figuring out a way to get these souls of the Myers of Faith back. So, thanks to uh, some sort of magical spell, yet um, super speedy, fast uh, uh, dragons uh, to take you to the reported uh, layer of this incarnate dragon uh, that has been sighted outside Greenness. Uh, we lost someone, I think. Yep. Hello? Yeah. Well, I'm back. It, it's my internet. Um, we're having a storm right now. I think it's actually... Because I get shit for signal, which I normally shouldn't. Which I'm hoping soon I can. Hardline in! Once I get my old laptop back. Excuse me. Well, while you're doing that, uh, we can have a cutscene. Cutscene. Uh, so as you approach it, uh, Grievous uh, and you says, uh, let me approach first. Grievous uh, closes his eyes and places his hand on his warhammer. Grace, have arrived. You watch as tendrils of multicolored energy emanate from the hammer and fill up the white dragonborn. The colors sink into his scales and vanish. Grievous opens his eyes and the flare of colors of and flare with colors of dragons. The scales start shifting colors of red, blue, green, black, pink, gold, silver, bronze, brass, and copper. He steps forward and speaks, speaks again. Raven Koros, your matron bids you to return home. From the dock ahead, you hear a voice. Ah, my matron is the queen of dragons. She bid me come here. 
We're gonna be ready for her call. I shall not forsake my. My daughter is not your matron. Remember your charge. Return to the Queen of Ravens, your true matron. Should you not, you will have no choice. We will have no choice but to save you from this bandit. A low growl is heard coming from ahead. A glowing blue spectral crown of crystal appears, followed by similar-looking bracers and boots. Ribus's hammer glows brighter, breaking the mist of the cavern. I'm just gonna say, <laughs> like, I know. Odd, non-matching of uh, 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 roll twenty tiles. A dragon of smooth uh, emerging from the darkness, the wearer appears. A dragon of smooth hide and gossamer wings that give an opalescent glow to the light shining through them. The blue horns are gracefully back over its neck, paralleled by two rounded ridges that extend down its back. Between them rises a nearly translucent frill that tapers down to the tip of the creature's tail. The dragon has blue-gray scales touched with indigo, sparkling with blue-gray highlights. The dragon roars into flames. I need you all to roll for it. I'm not sure. <clears throat> My initial initiative was 22, but it didn't select the thingy. We're just going to casually ignore the fact that Percival has a plus 12 to his initiative. <laughs> Well, remember, Kriv has plus 11 and advantage, so... <laughs> Sadly, he's not here. There's reasons for all of these, by the way, so just, just go with it. All right, do we get it, everybody? Yes. Yeah. The, the swarm of ravens is actually the... My way of reminding my, myself is I use a placement token. <laughs> It's not actually a swarm of rain. <laughs> okay. All right. So we basically had that Final Fantasy graphic where there's like a cutscene and then uh, he roars and then you hear this whoosh and then we zone in to, to the actual film. Dun, 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 All right. Dun, dun. Um, where is Percy on the map? Percy on the map? Percy is far up because he was dragged there. He is right here. Way up there. He's like over here. <laughs> there we go. See? Perfect. Percy was uh, lost. Actually, you might be like right behind <laughs> a Fitch. I'm assuming that you would want to be behind behind the tank. 
Uh, no, I want to be right next to him. Yeah, um, not really much room for that, where you are. But in any case, uh, Krebus, <laughs> uh, Krebus, uh, is standing here, but he, sh everybody should be within 30 feet, right? Yeah. Uh, you're not, you should be. Yeah, Squall, you need to get closer. Okay. He Sorry, I'm gonna stay close. I'm gonna try to uh, mute myself when I sneeze. Good luck, because I always uh, forget about that before I start coughing. Um, Krebus, uh takes the hammer of both of his hands, lets out a roar of his own, and he jams the the hammer uh, into the ground and puts his hand. He, yeah, on the uh, holy symbol on on it, and it, and he just kind of like stands there as a wave of multicolored light uh, shoots out out from him. Him, uh, everyone is blessed. Oh yay! So I'm gonna pop these on you to indicate that you are blessed. So remember on attack rolls I mean, and saving throws you can um roll an additional 1d4 on your attacks and that's the start percy also the room is is completely lit up there's still this mist in here but you can pretty much still see everything All right. Well, Mr. Percy is upsetty spaghetti. He so upsetty spaghetti. He's so upsetty spaghetti. He's so upsetty spaghetti that he's decided to cast Firestorm. Sure, where are you casting it? Bippity boop, bippity boop. He's gonna walk up a little bit first, and he's gonna twiddle D D his harp. He's gonna firestorm this bitch. All right. What's the um, save? Or uh, the DC is Dex. It's a Dex save. Okay. And what's the DC? Uh, sixteen. <laughs> All right, roll damage. I honestly thought you were a rogue. I'm a Ethan. bard rogue. Oh. But I have this okay. magic harp that can cast seventh level spells. Uh, it, it appears that the, the dragon must seem to be uh, rather dexterous and seem to mostly dodge the attack. Um, and from what damage that it did take, uh, it didn't seem to do as much damage as I would expect. Oh, really? That's big sad. Okay. Anything else? How can, exactly. how can you cast Firestorm? Like I said, harp. through the magic of harp. The what? The magic, the legendary harp that I have? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, the the one we talked about during last last session. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I must have skipped that, <laughs> or you were paying attention, or just forgot. Uh, did you want to do that with an action? Right? Uh, did you want to do a bonus action, Mister Bard? Uh, I'm gonna bonus action hide. <laughs> well, because you're a rogue. Poof. Okay. You think you're hidden. I'm gonna go over here. Okay. Let's get a friend around the around the corner and try to try to hide in plain sight of the uh, dragon. No, oh, I'm there's like cri there's crystals and stuff there. I kind of make sure you're getting into place that that would have cover. So 
All right. Right you're there. The, uh, you, 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 I can't. You, you think you're properly? Hidden. Yeah, okay. it's fine. It's it's map thing. We we know you're tucked in that corner. Yes. All right. Uh, Mr. Hopper. I'm gonna guess we uh we need to take it down. Uh, so do and attach start... the shackles. I'm not the one with the shackles, unfortunately. You gave them to uh, the barbarian and the one who's disappeared. Uh, the meter can you pally? Hold? The pally? Well, you can work on the subduing. Yeah, I'm gonna try the subduing. So, I'm gonna move there. Uh, just, just wanna verify something before doing that. Okay, so I'm gonna move there. And uh, I'm going to cast um, sixth level uh, chromatic orb. Okay, what element? Uh, thunder. Okay. Just hope it's gonna hit. Does the twenty nine hit? Uh, twenty nine does hit. Yeah. Disregard the damage. It's going to be 8 times 8. Uh, fifty. No, not 56. Jesus. How are you getting 8 times 8? Well, I'm going to maximize it. With my channel divinity. Oh. So 64 damage, thunder. And uh, if he resists thunder, he's not resistant to it. And I'm going to de describe what's going to happen. You're going to see a tiny ball swirling around my finger, and I'm just going to hurl it in his, his direction. And I'm, I'm just going to say, not quietly, but quickly. Cover your ears. Uh, 64. Cover your ears, this is gonna hurt. And uh, I will move back there. And that's my turn. So, when the ball hits the dragon, you can hear a loud <laughs> sound of thunder. Yeah, it seems to be very dexterous, dexterous, and seems to be able to uncannily dodge uh, your your orbs. Seems it hit him, but uh, it didn't seem to do as much damage as you expected. Well, yeah, I hope. I was like, oh, pesky little ones. It's okay. Guess that's gonna work. All right, I don't do uh, player actions. On. And now it's time for. Robin Kroros. I'll leap down here. I need uh, Fitch and uh, Fitch and Squall to make me dexterity saving throw. Way Squall is making a dragon attack. <laughs> you said Dex. Yes. Eighteen. I don't know right. what I rolled. Uh, ah. I rolled twelve. Um, Great. 
Oh. All right. So you take 32. Uh, Fitch will take 32 points of fire damage and 36 points of necrotic damage. Okay. That's, um, that's going to hurt. Uh, this probably isn't going to change anything, but um, people within 10 feet of me have plus three to their bonus, to their saving throws. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, no one. Besides previous, he's the only one. Yeah, um. Actually, uh. You would watch as as Krebus spins the hammer, uh, and actually you uh, you all take half that, and then if you have any reason, um, Squall, uh, you succeeded, so you take half, and then you take a quarter. Okay, so thirty two. That's sixteen. That's thirty six. That's eighteen. That's nine. Um, I'm sorry. How much damage did I take? Uh, you took, let's see, 32, 16, uh, points of fire damage. And then, uh, 19 points, or, or 18 points of, uh, necrotic damage. Okay. Ow. Let's get a lift up and come over. Here. Bitch. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to use my bonus, my reaction to use a rewind on him. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Squall. Just gonna go right up here. Yeah. Eldritch blast that motherfucker. Eldritch blast the motherfucker. And you have three beams? Yep. One. Two. Three. So, um, on the last two, ignore the four. It only happens on the yeah, delay because I only got two of them so far. It's it's me. Uh the last one's a thirty to hit uh twelve damage. Nice. You, you all three of them. Well, made? Well, when you have a plus 12 to hit. Eh, I suppose it's, it's quite fair. Yeah. Bitch. Um, so I have calculated things that I can do. And that is pretty much nothing. So, <laughs> um, Did you say smite? Yes, and um, connect first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's plenty enough. Smite. Yeah, but first he needs to get to the dragon and then hit it. It's, uh... You have uh, a fair point. Up, right? Like, hmm? this is a up area? Yeah, so it, it would be difficult to, to, to climb up. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20... Well, no, it's it's it should be one square until you get up to the ridge. It, the, this is where it's oh. the steps is not difficult. So. Okay, yeah, that that's that's twenty feet though. So, uh, I'm gonna stop here, and uh, it was down here. Huh? I was just saying because you were down here, it was twenty. Yeah. Uh, can I? Hold an action. Sure. What are you holding? Um, just just to hit him if he decides to come back down. Do you have to, what, a melee what, range? Ready to, 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 to hit him. 
Yeah. That's all I can do. Oh my... Oh, hey, uh, mm -hmm. are there, are there any bones laying around? Uh, no, there doesn't appear to be bones. Cool beans. There does seem to be a lot of uh, coins and gems left around, but you know, it's a dragon. Uh, Fitch, uh, gain 70 hit points. Or whatever your, whatever takes you to max. Nice. Uh, Percy. Yeah, Perinos. Your turn. Okie dokie. As far as you can tell, Despite his movement, you are still considered hidden from the dragon. Heck yeah! All right. All right, I think I am going to Sorry, I'm just looking yeah, so like okay, what can this character do? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot that's going on. He has he can do a lot of stuff <laughs> <laughs> Okay, how far, how high up is this ledge? Twenty feet. Twenty feet! My god. Okay, well, what are you talking about? It's just a jump in a... It's just a hop and a skip. I'm gonna bonus action dash. Can I climb up? Yep. Can I run up? Okay. Yeah, uh, give me a flight of strike. Not gonna be difficult. Well, yeah, you can't quite I... make it up. Uh, you, you you grip onto it, but you kind of like slip down to the bottom. Don't I have a thing? Oh, I have plus zero to strike. That's oh. why. Um. Why not? Did you make it up? Like, no. was it like success? It was a fail. Um, back to the talisman. Roll a d4. Oh, and also you got blessed. Uh, ah. It doesn't work in ability checks. Ah. But back to the talisman. Roll a d4. Three! So, 12. Does he pass? Uh, yeah, he'll he'll pass with that. Oh, thank Ooh, God! As you're, as you're climbing <laughs> up, you, you're going to reach for something, but uh, you you hear hear Squall's voice in your your mind says, "No, to your left." 
and you moved your hand over to the left and it was better a handhold and to scramble up. Woohoo! I All got right. you, buddy. Thanks. And then I'm going to give him a good old stab. Stabby stab. A big stab with the dragon slayer rapier. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, you make it up the cliff and you're like, uh, uh, stab. And, and it just like misses. Oh, wait a minute. But he... Uh, you are blessed, but if, if in any case, you won't make it. It's a yeah. Uh, and you already booked this action dash to get up. Uh, Edward. How high is uh, the dragon again? Oh, um, I'm not done, actually. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. Go on, no yeah. problem. Um, so, because I am a fan the little, little swashbuckler. Um, I'm now going to step back and not take an attack of opportunity because that doesn't happen anymore. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to uh, slide back down the 20 feet drop. <laughs> All right. Roll me a deck, deck save. I'm good at those. It is well are you fucking you're kidding me? <laughs> you're, 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 so you are technically blessed. Roll a d4. Oh my lord. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait, wait, I mean, wait, wait it, a minute. It's, it, you're a little unsteady when you get down to the bottom, but you're fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I'm going to bonus action hide. Oh, you are. Didn't you bonus action? action? Yeah. Oh, I did. Yes, I did. Never mind. <laughs> so, um, Edward Hopper gonna go there um try to find something yeah actually it's gonna go there and he's going to um whirl magic around his hand um circling it uh towards the uh, tip of um his staff and he's going to move right here and uh just gonna shoot an attack on this one. Sorry for the delay. That's right. And you're like you're lady. you're no, why are you doing that? Sorry. Roll twenty, uh, not roll twenty. Uh, D and D Beyond decided that my page was no longer needed. <laughs> yeah, my, it did that to me too. Yeah. I was like, okay, oh, so air. Okay. If it keeps telling me error, I'm just gonna do it manually. Yeah, it just keeps doing it manually. So, open it on this files. And where is where is it? Okay, there it is. <clears throat> so it's gonna be a hopper cast one, but I'm going to cast a spell again. Oh, okay, good. It lets me overcast it. Did it work? There it is. Okay. Oh, uh, well, that... Nope. <laughs> nope. That's not gonna work. So I'm gonna see my magic fizzles in my hand. I'm gonna be like, damn it. Uh, it, it, it goes out, but... Uh, just a dexterous dragon or something. Is it because you kind of like... Just out of the way. And uh, that's going to be the end of my turn. 
player action. Uh, all of a sudden, a dense mist um, uh, envelops uh, Krebus, Squall, Fitch, and uh, uh, Mr. Hopper. Yep. And you hear screams this of like some ghastly screams um, in your head. I need uh, all four of you to make a wisdom saving throw. Is, is this to be frightened? No. Damn it. Okay. Wisdom. Saving. So I have a 15. Uh, Hopper, you get plus three to your wisdom throw. I think. Ten feet, right? Yeah. Oh, so do I, because I'm within ten feet. We all do. So, eighteen feet. Alright, you all save. So I'll take yeah. six points of psychic damage. Ow. Six. Six. Sexy six. Yep, so you take half the damage. Oh. Uh, also, so the how... area is currently heavily obscured. So, so is any it just attacks like... against the dragon right now while you're in that mist um, would be at disadvantage. Question: How, like, how big is like I know how wide it is. How tall is it? Uh, it's a, like it's just like a mist. On, it technically mist is a on, like, sphere of like twenty feet. Uh, twenty feet, twenty okay. foot radius, I should say. Okay. Uh, look at the uh, tasty morsel that is uh, a A uh, lizard fo folk and he's gonna roar. Uh, and I need Percy make a actually yeah, each creature in the dragon's choice within a little bit must get yeah. off. Yeah, uh, I need everybody to roll me a wisdom saving throw. Uh oh, it is against being frightened. Do I get blessed? Yeah, you are still blessed. Yay! So, 28. Succeed. Eddie succeeds. Does Percival succeed? If Does you're 10 succeed? feet away oh. from me, you can't be frightened. Okay, yeah, so he... we don't even have to be a roll. Okay. And uh, Percy 
You, you with your uh, bless, you just explode. <laughs> <laughs> Percy be like, the audacity of this bitch. Uh, there is one problem. That's not the end of his attack round. Mm-hmm. He's going to swipe at you a couple times with his claws. Uh, nope. Probably. Okay. Okay. It's that it's it can never whisper. Um. He 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 claws you. Uh, for uh, twenty-five points of damage. Me? Uh, yeah. Is the attack roll just so high that you don't even have to ask? Uh, it's also automatically whispering, and I can't figure out how to make it so that it's not whispering. I'm just like, you're not even asking if this hits. Oh my it's god, 20... this is high! Well, he crit <laughs> to begin with. Um, oh fuck! I have extra attack! Oh. Oops! You, you gotta remember that. <laughs> Uh, also, uh, he's a through... spellcaster at heart, so he doesn't know about this shit. Yeah, <laughs> uh, just, I'm assuming a 25 hits you. Uh, no, mm hmm. Um, <laughs> so take another 14 points of damage. Of How much damage. was the first one? It was 25. And I see it coming. Yeah, I'm gonna half it. Okay, I'm getting dodge. Yeah. Okay, and then the second... I hope you see a claw coming at you. <laughs> it, I mean, this this huge uh, blue gray indigo uh, dragon just flew over you, turned around, landed, roared at you. I'd assume that you. Know. I mean, hopefully. Yeah. Second one was a twenty-five and hit you for fourteen. Yes. And then you watch as uh, it uh, goes down to close its jaws on you uh, for 31. Um, so take another 16 points this time, piercing damage. Ah! <laughs> Damn, shorty! Hey! How uh, you doing over there? How many times can we use Bless? Who wanted to be in the? Uh, 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 as it's, long as long as it's maintained. Yeah. Um, oh. Who said he wanted to be in the front again? <laughs> Just asking. Oh, I, I forgot to do that. I quickly do that. Okay. And seeing uh, uh, those, those uh, hits on, on Percy, uh, he's just going to stand right there and kind of stare you down. Squall! Oh. Uh, All right. You can't see. You saw. You think you saw some sort of shadow kind of like move off to the side, but you can't tell because uh, the mist you're in is very obscuring. All right. So seeing this, he's just going to be like, I am not about this. Um, and he is actually going to use Elemental Gift. And all of a sudden, uh, around him, a bunch of wind starts circling around his feet and stuff. Almost like it's just a big cyclone underneath his legs. Not that, like his legs are a big cyclone and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he now has a uh, flying speed of 30 feet. Cool. Um, and I had that for 10 minutes. Okay. Um, so... Yeah. I'm going to go up 5 feet and then over to here. And now that I can see a pretty... Yeah, you can. Right? Yeah, you could kind of partially see it. And that's all I need now with uh, my. Okay. 
You do, you do see uh, Percy there uh, looking a little bloody. I got nothing to heal. Oh, that hits me with Alright, so I'm going to try to grab his attention and I'm going to shoot a bit of fireworks at him and just be like, let's have a little show. I'll just pause. What? Uh, does does not hit. Does not um, hit. There's a bless though. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, gonna have to roll your bless. So, yeah. In case that he could. Uh, the last the first one will not one. hit. Bless. So for the first one, it's gonna be a twenty-four. Okay, that does hit. So that's uh, 10 points of damage for that first one. And so 25. One, it's going to be a 25. Nice. So it's going to be 9 points. Right. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, that was movement, bonus action, action. Right. Fitch. Oh. I see Hopper in front of me. Um, you, you, you see this little, uh, you can kind of see him. Like, it's he, clear he, enough he, you know where he is, but it's, he, you can't make he it can, out details. He can clearly hear me, though, because I have crackling sound around me. Okay, um, I'm just gonna run towards the last place I saw the dragon. Okay. So, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. Hey, you can go kitty corner too. Huh? You can go kitty corner too, so you don't have to, like. Kitty corner? Di you can go diagonal. Oh, okay, so 15, mm -hmm. uh, 20, 25, 30. And hit dragon if okay. I can't. Hit the dragon, hit the dragon, hit the dragon. I call the goddamn Sweet. dragon. Uh, crap. I call the goddamn dragon. 21 to hit. 21 does not hit. Why is everybody having dra dragon slayer swords? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Roll your Bless. Oh, uh, 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 a d4. Boom. Two. Yeah, it's okay. But it's... Oh, uh -huh. okay, so AC 24. <laughs> Uh, I'll try hitting it again. Okay. There you go. Now you hit it. Yay. Did I hear someone say smite? You get a little disoriented <laughs> coming down into the fog. You're like, ah, ah! You come over and as you go, go to swing, it just kind of like dodges on the way. You, you swing back and you, and you hit him. Uh, 19 slashing. Uh, and I know you said it, but uh, four necrotic. Uh, and uh, it's also a dragon slayer sword. So oh. roll three d eight. Three d six. Six. Ten. The dragon takes an extra 3d6 flashing damage for the purpose of this weapon. Yeah. Smite. I, I wouldn't smite it yet. Why not? Because I don't know what type of dragon this is. Well, you know it's an Incarnum dragon. You need to get that information. But if do you I do, if you... Do anything about Nuk... Uh, Nuk... Uh, he told us dragon? it's... Not. Incarnum, um, he they gave us some information. If you do, like, isn't your smite just radiant damage? No, it's from necrotic. By the way, he asked me about being necrotic instead of radiant before, and I said sure, and then I grinned to myself. <laughs> yes, we I know over, we were doing it over chat, so he didn't get to see me see me grin. <laughs> You horrible, horrible person. The only thing was, um, I was planning this encounter before, 
And then he asked me, and I'm like, oh, sure, if you want to. Yes, no problem. Flavor-wise, <laughs> seems very appropriate. Yeah. Uh, we need to get his elements, uh, his uh, legendary resistance. I can carry that. Um, necrotic resistance, if we do. Oh. oh, fuck, I forgot my bonus action again. Ah, I hate it's bonus still your actions. Turn. It's still your turn. <laughs> I was supposed to do it before I attacked. Yeah, um, what, 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 are you doing the, the, the like booming blade sort of thing or uh no, uh it, it's a spell called Spirit Shroud. Uh nice. put put it on the thingy. Bada bing bada boom, you did it. <laughs> Will you allow it? Yeah, you just can't use it this turn. Because it's still a concentration for up to a minute. So as long as you're you're concentrating on it, you're fine. Well, my plan was before I forgot was to use it and then attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is normally what we would do. But the thing is, if you forget you <laughs> after you attack, you can yeah. still cast a spell, then the next time you go to attack. Yeah. It, I'm, I'm not going to use it yet, though. And based off of how I'm going to read this, it doesn't say that it ends on a hit. No. So it's good for up to a minute. So yeah. every single time that you go to attack during that minute, you get the benefit. Okay. You can still cast it as your bonus action for this turn, and then next turn. Yeah, but if if I forgot, then I'm just gonna not use it yet. Okay. That's my turn. Up to you. Uh, Krebus goes. Ah, shit. Okay, comes over here, puts it down. Uh, uh spins the uh, spin. hammer again. Oh, I also have Bardic Inspiration right now. I should actually use that on my... Damn it. Okay. That's my fault. Every game I play, I always forget bonus action. That's what I want. So much better. Uh, Percy's the only one who's down in health, right? Yeah. Well, and, and then uh, uh, Squall and Eddie are just measly six points, right? Didn't hear you correctly, though. I'm uh, about 21 points down. Oh, okay. I'm six down. Uh, I'm at half health. Six down, too. Everybody gains 23 points of uh, uh, health. Yay. As they accrue this as masculine. Uh, Percy. You have Yay. somebody within five feet of, uh, of your target. I don't even need it for my sneak attack. I have rackish audacity. Yeah, oh, uh, Kribus uh, it says, it says, now that you two are next to him, we might want to throw those shackles on him. Ugh, I guess that's a thing. Actually, it's, it, he says it more of, now that you two are next to him, put the shackles on! Okay, how do the shackles work again? Yes, uh, Daddy. It is <laughs> oh fucking lord! Good, sh good job. <laughs> I told this. I, I told this to you last time. Yeah. Can I just like pass on that? 
Can I use Dex instead? It'd I mean, fast. you could just be holding on to it and like get. I would allow a, a a bonus action to hand it over to the stronger person. Sure, the I'll be like. Person already has two of them. This is just going to take like a, at least four rounds. Because it's okay. an action it, to to attempt to attach it. I'm just going to hold on to mine for the moment then. Yeah. That's why Squall didn't take any. He has a negative one in strength. <laughs> like, Alright, I'm just gonna go nope. over here. Okay. And now look, we're flanking! Woo! And you're blessed. Oh, I did it. It's the first two. Sorry, I didn't hear the beat for the second one. Yeah, it's alright. Nope, miss. Even the first one? Yep. Yeah, DC's, uh, uh his AC is 24. We've figured okay, out. Okay, I'll use my second attack. There you go. Oh, that, why is it doing it three times? That's weird. I don't, I don't know, but you hit him. Okay. So with that, <laughs> I get to deal this much damage and then that much damage and then I also get my sneak attack here comes that shit ton of that oh. I'm confused oh it already applied the sneak attack yeah okay so 8 plus 14 plus 14 because it's a dragon which is the dragon so, 28 plus 8, so 36 damage. Alright. Um... And then... You, you, you're trying to, to squeeze by it to get get to the op opposite side. You go to, go to stab him with the, the first time, and you, and you just kind of, like, just miss it. Miss something. Come back and just... Stab him right into the to the uh, hind quarter. And it roars. <sighs> Neat. All right, is that it? Yeah, that's everything. Oh wait, Mister Hopper. You oh, hear where the dragon I'm... is, but you can't quite see it. I have a thing to do that I didn't know I could do. Go on. Um, I'm going to use one of my Bardic Inspiration die, and I'm going to use the Defensive Flourish, because I hit with it. It's about time you use some Defensive Flourish! <laughs> Anyways. So, so I add good. 3 to my AC until the end of my next turn. And you do 3 damage. Yes. The three point, he also gets uh, 3 points of damage, extra damage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mr. And that's it. So, um, feeling the wall near me, I'm just going to try to hop out of the, uh, the fogish. Seeing this creature, I'm going to cast a spell. What spell are you casting? Huh? What spell are you casting? You're gonna see. I'm going to cast Bane. It's a charisma save. This is 70. It's going to be quickened. It succeeds with 26. Okay. Sad. It happens. It's okay. Okay, so you quicken that. I quickened that. Oh, and uh, um, do your cantrip. Yes. Oh, I'm going to move because I'm going to do. Oh, but I did it in the wrong order, though, but it's okay. Shocking grasp. I don't know if it's necessarily the wrong order to bane them first. I do have advantage since we're flanking, right? Yeah, I don't know call that as, as flanking. He's a big creature. 
Yeah. So thirty to hit. Uh, 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 it's he. He's looking kind of weak. If he's resistant to lightning damage, he's not. Okay. Just want to say. The, the dragon's looking weak. And I'm going to move away. Here. He can do. He can use his opportunity attack to attack me if he wants. Fitch, I need Which you to make looking... me a Christmas saving throw. Me? Oh, by the way, the Fitch. Yeah. Oh. Mr. Fitch. 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 Yay! Oh, um, I'm sorry. Um, uh, no, never mind. Blessed. Blessed. Yes. Hmm. Oh, uh, I will bless. Help me. Yeah, it, it gives you a D4 in your saving throws. It could help. Um, does he attack me when I go out of his range? Oh, yeah. Thank you for me. Yeah. Wipes at you for 25. Uh, take 19 points of damage. Yeah. He can take uh, a dexterity saving throw. DC 7. Huh? Yeah, he succeeds. So 2d8 divided by 2. Okay. Well He's gonna take ten, well, half of it, so five uh, lightning damage as he's gets. Uh, he gets a shock from trying to bite me, and um. Well, he clawed, but you know, still. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, you can't see it, so. He he put it his uh, his finger in a uh, in a shock trap. Not his best move. When did you right. say that the uh, dragon is looking weak? Yes. Alright, we all need to, like, not do so much damage, because we, we don't want to kill it. And he needs to do a uh, constitution saving throw DC 12. Why is he's probably saving throw? Where's all this coming from? You know, we got, like, two different things. Okay, Explain the first one... <laughs> no problem. The first one was the cleric um, first level of storm. Wrath of the storm, when I get um, hit by a creature at five feet of me that I can see. Uh, I can use my reaction to force a dexterity saving throw to the creature. 2d8 lightning or thunder damage, my choice. On a fail save, half as much on a successful one. Okay. The other one is the Grung, since he came into contact, direct contact with me. Gotcha. Uh, he probably, yeah, he also succeeds, probably so. Yeah. Still. Alright. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, Fitch, you, you've. You feel this, this uh, uh, pressure, like if something is trying to uh, send you somewhere else, uh, but you kind of shake it off. All right. I'm in chorus. And I... Can we speak with, as a free action? Lemon Uh, he's gonna disengage and start heading this way. Is any shackle? No, no, no one's put on any shackles or anything. Oh, never mind then. Uh, but I ask a question: Can we, um, can we speak as a free action? Yeah, it's part mm -hmm. of your turn. Okay, never mind then, because I just finished my turn. Yeah, so he's going to disengage and go this way. Ball, ball. All right. Seeing that he's starting to get weak, um, let's see. It look, does it look like he's like trying to escape? Yeah, it looks yeah. like he's trying to feel flee. Okay. All right, no worries. Um, 
I'm actually uh, seeing this. Gonna go ahead and cast Wind Wall. Like right at the entrance here? Yeah. So. You're just trying to block off his exit, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he could only get there, so. Yeah. It so was just, uh, if. Yes. Yeah, that's actually exactly where I want it. Uh... Alright, anything else? Uh, that'll be all. That was my spell. Okay. Hey. And I'll go out like he's trying to escape. But I somehow uh, I I can like uh dash. Hmm. I dash. Yep. Yeah. You can also go this way. Oh, that's a fall, though. Only 20 feet. If you jump down, it's something, but if you do a controlled, it wouldn't get down. Besides, you can jump on the dragon. Would I... Would I have a, a better chance of putting the uh, shackles on him if I was larger? Probably. Uh, yeah, because he would be taller. I think it gives you advantage on athletics. Yeah, I'm gonna cast large on myself. I think. Yeah, using Titan Stone Knuckles. Yeah. Yeah, and large. Oh. Do, do I have to beat a constitution save or something? Uh, to become enlarged? No. Oh, okay. Uh, and I, I will think dash with the with the enlarge. It's more of the like regular enlarge does it like uh, if you an unwilling or someone else. Okay. Um, do I have to make a save or something? Are you gonna no attempt to, to jump on him? What were you trying to do? I just wanted to like get next to him so I can uh, be Well, he's also him. in the air. So ah. he's probably kind of uh, like a, a little bit higher than than at the where you are here. But Did he's I about, try about five feet off. So you could could attempt to jump with an athletic check. Let's do it. Athletics. Athletics. Wrong menu. Boom. Yeah, you, you easily make a long jump, and I'm assuming you grab on. Yeah. Um, I just want to hold on to him. Uh, I guess I'll try to force him down if I can at some point. Yeah. I mean, do you want to have pulled out a, a, a shackle and jump on him and try to like latch onto him at the same time? Because with that, you would. I would definitely say that you would be able to latch on the shackles on. Definitely. Right. Another check or something? Nope. It's uh, on my part. Uh, yeah. So, so you pull out one of the shackles. It, you you crash the Titan Stone knuckles to get together, enlarge, and you go charging down the hallway. Pull out one of the shackles. And you jump and latch it onto there, and you're like hanging now from the dragon's foot and and shackle. The weight of you actually brings him, brings you and him down to the ground. Um, so he's now could on I, the ground. Could I possibly try to keep him from flying back up? Um, he it, it would be time. basically um, it'd be. You essentially have him grappled right now. 
Okay. So he can't he can't move unless he breaks free free of you or drags you along. Full beans. That is my turn. Now is the times, my friends. And, uh, Did you forget something again? Gonna... How I high gonna... is this ceiling? About 60 feet. For my free turn or action, could I say in Draconic, uh, just give up? Do I know Draconic? I'm pretty sure I know Draconic. I'm going to say you know Draconic, considering your backstory. Yeah. You, you, you kind of, if anything, you might have learned it along the way. So if it, whether you have it in there or not, know Draconic. Yeah. Yeah, I do. But yeah, that that's what I'll say. Just, just give up. We don't want to kill you or anything. Club group is going to do. He's going to come over here, and it looks like he's preparing something. Okay. Need just three more shackles. Percy. Woohoo! <clears throat> it's shackling time. I'm going to run over here and then I'm going to go over here. Yeah, I'll see you slide down the main bank then. Hokey dokey. Um, I need to ask, but... What is the challenge rating of this monster? You don't know. I know, I do not know, but I needed to ask. Uh, I can't answer that question. <laughs> um, I'm gonna stab it first. It it must be hard. I would, I, I, I wouldn't do that. Oh, it's, oh, it's okay. looking weak. It's, 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 it's looking weak. It's looking pretty hurt. There's a reason why he's trying to flee. Hey. I mean, you can still stab him. If you want to. But yeah, the um, rest of I, I want to try to do it non lethally because I can dominate monster. You could try putting a shackle on. Um, no, it's, it's clearly an adult one. Or even greater than that. What are you doing? I'll try and put the thingy on. Okay. Give me a strength check. You uh, have a D4. Check. Strength check, not what? save. Oh. And you have so a D4. Worse. But you have a D4. The the the, the, the uh, bless does works on yep. attack rolls and saving throws, not ability checks. Uh oh. No, it's guidance. Oh, so no. Oh, sad. So he still has a, like, well, like, would a d4 help? Uh, nope. Okay. A, the strength save was 22. Oh, or, God. Strength, his, his strength check was a, a 22, so. I physically cannot beat that. No matter what. No, it, it no, could just be no, that you, he rolled well. Well, you do, I can't give you an extra d4. Uh, in the, uh, was all my reaction, but yeah. it wouldn't have helped. Really wouldn't have helped but... 
but if anything, he is currently grappled. Okay. Then, you know what? Fuck it. I want to just slap it. <laughs> just, just, an, <laughs> just doing an unhanded attack. Uh, the yeah. only thing is, is attempting to put the shackle on is an action, so... Yeah, I'm going to use my, my bonus action to make an attack I and forfeit my... You can only my... use the bonus action to, to make an attack if you made an attack as your action. So slapping him with the collar doesn't count as an attack, damn. Yeah, beside you you having this artifact, you purposely know it's not going to work on us on a big, uh, such a big creature. It works on dragons. So yeah. why not the... try it? I mean, sure. you can certainly try, but in any it's, case, you you already used your action. It works on Dragonling. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. You don't know what Percival knows. Well, yeah, when you I attune, when you yeah, attune to a, an item, you normally you know. Jordan, Jordan. That's the sound of my little pea brain bouncing around inside my skull. <laughs> Jordan, let what? people play their characters themselves. I'm right. not going to say anything, sure. Percy's not smart. He got and, this and artifact case, and he's like, damn, it can work on dragons. Let's yeah, fucking I'm, try it. I understand. In that case, in that case, if Kriv didn't say anything, would you have attacked the dragon? Because he tried to play your character at that moment and no one said anything. I didn't. I didn't. I suggested he not attack. As Squall, I suggested he not attack. Anyways, so at, the, at um, this point in time, Eddie, what are you doing? I'm going to move here, mm -hmm. and um, your people right here, you're going to see um, uh, the wall collapsing on itself and hurt moving from the ground and touching the ceiling, and the the pathway is going to be barred. I'm going to cast a wall of stone. That's okay, weird. so we got a wall of wind and a wall of stone in the same place. Yes. And it's a 5th level spell, and um, so it's one feet uh, thick and touching the uh, the ceiling, and uh, like, both. Okay. Um, that was, I, I quickened that spell to make it quick, mm -hmm. and I'm going to um, bone, uh, well, action dash, and while being here, I'm just going to say, Ancient One. I think we have one of your children's in our care. Might you reconsider coming with us? Roll me a deception check. Well, he looks like Shatant. Yeah, Shatant is currently dead. Well, he's still in our care. <laughs> uh, it was more for me Roll as me a, perse a, a persu persuasion or deception. This is a deception check. Sure. Nope. Yeah. Just for the just for the lull of it, because I thought it was a persuasion. Okay. Yeah, twenty five was more like it. Uh, uh, I got a twenty eight and say <laughs> insight. Well, it's it's not a lie. So 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 in any case, is you're not persuasive enough uh, or deception enough, and yeah, well, not really in your care, Dad. But that's just personal opinions, <laughs> right? Well, he's still in our care. We want to raise him. Like, her, her goal is to bring it back. Yeah, so. I, I, I see where you're trying to go, but uh, sure. to me, that's a stretch. Okay, no problem. It doesn't work. Anyway, he's not going to go by this way. Sweet, sweet square. Okay, Don't. I'm actually going to use a circle. Here we are. Let's 
successfully move it. I need uh, Fitch, uh, Percy, and uh, Edward. Edward to roll me a wisdom saving throw. Is it to be frightened? No. Okay. Succeed. Don't forget that wonderful Succeed. plus three. Yeah. So far, so far, succeeding anyways. And succeed. Hey. Just uh, curious. Enough, it's not that hard. But... What does curiosity do? <laughs> so let me, let me read it. Uh, uh, you take three points of uh, psychic damage. Oh, no. So yeah. dense mist with the screams of lost souls fills a 20 foot radius sphere centered on a point the dragon can see within 120 <laughs> feet of it. Mist spreads around corners and it, its area is heavily obscured. Each creature in the mist, when it appears, must make a, a wisdom saving throw or take 3d6 psychic damage and stun for one round. They take half as much damage and are not stunned on a successful one. Take three points of damage. But you're not stunned. Uh, but uh, Percy, Fitch, and, uh, and uh, Edward, you can't see the dragon uh and there's a sphere of mist blocking uh Kribus's vision i think squall can still see it yeah because i'm up here oh it's gonna turn breath. around the breath is back And he breathes inward. Oh. I need Percy, Fitch, uh, uh, Eddie, Kifi, and Krivis to make constitution saving throws. Uh, 15. Does um, Percival pass with an 18? Percy passes. Yay! And let's see. 15 this does pass or not? 15 does not pass. Okay, so I failed too. And bitch, uh, you wouldn't even pass with the plus. Oh, wait, I don't... Yeah, I do have the best. My bad. <laughs> uh, everybody you passed, uh, our uh, pass takes uh, 24 points of uh, necrotic damage. Everybody who failed takes 24, uh, 12 points of necrotic damage. The succeed, uh -huh. take 25 points of uh, necrotic damage. And your hit point maximum is reduced by 20. By the same amount? Okay. Hey, uh, just out of curiosity, where am I on the dragon? You're like... You're like on a paw. Yeah, he, yeah. It, he's like maybe five feet off the ground while you're holding on to uh, one of his legs. You know one of those child hanging to daddy's leg? <laughs> yeah. Um Except the leg is the, the the foot is about a five feet off the ground. Yeah. Which the don't leave. is just still like mid mid so you can yeah. Don't go to work today. <laughs> so twenty five damage? Okay, twenty five points of necrotic damage. And your maximum hit points are reduced by twenty five. 
Cool. Uh, but what I said wasn't draconic last turn. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's see. How much did you say uh, our max HP is? Same amount, 25. Yeah, the same amount, 25. Uh, so if you... we got three people that failed? No, uh, yeah, three people failed. Um, if you click on uh, your HP um, in d d Beyond, there's an override max HP, yeah. which you can then... And he can't move. Uh, actually, no, he technically could. He would just be dragging Fitch along. Actually, no, he would have to take his action to break the grapple, but he already... All right. That's his turn. Squall. Here, a uh, random question: Are any of you guys fiends or undead? <laughs> nope. Okay. Little did you know, I'm the reborn. <laughs> That's that question seems very pointed. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. We know. <laughs> so I'm going to drop the concentration on the wind wall. But okay. I'm going to re recast. Yep. Um, recast it so it's basically covering that. Because it can go up to 50 feet long. Doesn't it have to be a like a straight line? Yeah, so I think um, it's like ten foot increments. Portions. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about a straight line or anything. A wall of wind, strong wind rises from the ground to point. Yeah, it just rises from the ground. Fifty feet long, fifteen feet high, one feet thick. You can shape. You can shape the wall in any way you choose, so as not. So long as it makes one continuous path along the ground. Okay. My bad, Dan. He's got it right. Anything else? Action. What do I have? I'm going to die of allergy, guys. Um... The lamest way to die, I think. Dying of your own body, deciding you don't like cats. No, that's a um, spell, so I can't do two leveled spells. Because the Mystic Arcan my um, Mystic Arcanum would be a uh, is it still considered a casting a spell, right? Yeah, I mean, it's that's just the way you got the spell. Yeah, and it doesn't take up a spell slot. Um. Okay, yeah. Right, but it's still a level spell. Alright. Oh, yep, that's everything. Alright, Fitch. First off, I was damaged, and enlarge is a concentration spell. Uh, not with the Titan Stone Knuckles. Oh, okay, cool. Um, At least that's how I rule it. Okay, I'm well, fine with that. The, the knuckles are doing it, not a, an ability. 
I see. I just wanted to make sure. No, um, no, no, it's a good question. Uh, can I... Is it possible to get the other shackle on the other foot? Somehow? Yeah, you could basically be doing the same thing that you did before. But he has a point. You'll, lo- you'll release your grapple, but the grapple is other... Basically, you pull out the, sh- the shackle and grapple the other other one while shackling him at the same time. That's that's how I, I take it. That is like, what I will do if I can. So I'm going to be fine for the damage that I took for the concentration. I had forgotten. My bad. It's alright. I forget too. So I guess uh, you had to move a little bit to get to the other leg. Um, oh. Go ahead and do a strike check. Check. Fifteen. Plus, um, plus. Oh no, uh, this is, yeah, it does check. This is a check, so oh, okay. he, he doesn't get advantage. Uh, I'm gonna call this a successful. We both got fifteen, but I'm gonna say because you have a higher uh, strength uh, modifier, that you win. That's I'm just by that. Nice. Two shackles. Way to go, Idaho. Uh, I'm gonna yell out, um, first and draconic, come on, man, just give up, and, um, and in common, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I need another shackle. And that's my turn. Yeah, uh, I got it. I know exactly what to do. He was preparing something last could, turn. Could be... Yeah, he, he, he didn't. Uh, um... Yeah, I A warhammer appears above the dragon's head. Um, actually, it looks very much like a mallet. Like oh. something Harley Quinn would have, would use. <laughs> He's gonna catch the spiritual weapon. Just gotta tap him on the head. He's gonna hit the dragon for non lethal force damage. And the dragon falls to the ground, unconscious. <laughs> See, he was looking really hurt. That that works. <laughs> no. Uh, the uh, mist dissipates. Can I spare the dying? He's he's just like. Well, it, well, if you if you go up and and check him, uh, he he doesn't seem seem that he's in necessarily. Uh, uh, it, oh, he, he's not he, dying. He's just he had like, twelve <laughs> asleep. Okay. Actually, oh, he he's snoring right now. <laughs> he had <laughs> he, he had nine HP. He had nine HP. Okay. Well, it's your call. Otherwise, I'm gonna spare the dying. So I don't mind. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Krebus did this intentionally. What? <laughs> Get this. Like. like we just not need him knock. <laughs> it's like we just need to knock him out. What? Well, my plan long, for my long. next turn was to cast fourth level sleep. <laughs> uh, Percy, um, can I Atta- get... touch the last shackles? And you can Please. actually just yeah. do that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. D- I wanted. I was gonna ask if I could just slap the shackle on. Yeah, you, you could definitely just slap the, sh- the shackles on. Actually, yeah, yeah. Alive. Percy will slap the shackle on and he'll put his foot up on the shackle and be like, "Aren't y'all glad I'm here?" <laughs> Good job, man. 
I believed in Ah, you. thank uh, you, Fitch. And he'll slap you on the back and be like, you did a great job too, Sport. And Bardic Inspiration. I guess the wind was on our on our side today. And, and I'm assuming the Wall of Stone and the, the uh, Wind will go away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Wall of Stone is going to drop. Uh, who puts on the Lash Shackle? Just curious. Uh, Squall! Do it. Oh, okay. Well, well, Squall Percy's doesn't have a one on. Does you, Squall have Squall, a shackle? Yeah. No, but you can give Squall one. You can toss it Percy, over to me and be like, Percy Shh. wants to put the last shackle on. Oh. Well, you can toss the shackle to him, let him put his on, and then you can put, uh, put it on. I helped you out a lot. Are you going to just stand here with my talisman? Put it on? I and you can put it on. It's okay, <laughs> children. There's no matter to fight. <laughs> no, I'm saying this as I'm saying this as Dustin. Like I, I helped you out a lot with my talisman. <laughs> Dustin just sees a, a a thing in the top left corner. Percy will remember this. <laughs> so I put the final check. No grievous. All right, as. As Squall puts on the, the last shackle, uh, uh, Krebus, uh runs up to uh, the, the dragon. And uh, uh, you, you notice after you put on the last shackle, uh, the sparkling blue-gray highlights that were in his scale seem to break off and dissipate. And reveal scales of steel, steel gray of a steel gray metallic sheen. Um, uh, his eyes no longer gl- glowing and re- and returning to the, and his scales returning to their normal dull white color. Runs up to the dragon's head and lays a hand on them. A faint glow of healing magic emanates from it. And of course, you back with us? I can take you home. The dragon looks at the dragonborn. Who, who are you? Where am I? Uh, we must still mirror of Nyquil. Uh, uh, Clarion, if I were here in Toral. Uh, do, do, do you remember how you got here? My memory's cloudy. I was sleeping when I heard this sound. Uh, warm. It was drawing me somewhere. I don't remember. Raven Chorus looks around. Oh, seems like a master of old for some reason. He, they look at you, at you all. Did these adventurers help to save me? Uh, yes, they did. Oh, honestly, they did most of the work. Uh, unlike other dragons, uh, I do not amass a horde. Treasure I keep are those of souls that are as they make the transition to the afterlife, as is my challenge by the Raven Queen. For your assistance, please, take of this hoard as you wish. Uh, thank you. Don't have to tell me twice. Um, I, hey, for money is money. Like Gold is gold. I am fine. Your hoard is spooky. Uh, just we... A, just a... Uh, uh, the, uh, uh, Elf, a half orc, a human, and a dwarf enter the cavern. The dwarf speaks. Uh, we saw the mist dissipate, so we thought we'd come in and see. The dwarf's eyes widen, seeing the treasure. The rest stop and gape. Great it's ours. Warden's beard. I'm going to cast a spell. Grievous points his ha- hammer at the newcomers. Don't you dare think about taking anything from this horde. Can you I cast a spell? steal anything from another, another dragon's horde, w- horde would you? The, the stone wall is going to reappear. <laughs> We're in a cutscene. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> the group step back in surprise and the elf speaks up. Uh, Muhammad forbid, of course not. I wouldn't think about doing such a thing. They all sheepishly look at each other and shake their heads in agreement. Uh, well, Ravikoros kindly gave it to these folk. I ask that you assist transporting it back. The enchantment that helped you speed here will last till tomorrow. I'm taking Raven Chorus home. A voice is heard coming from the entrance of the cave. Papa? Papa? A black and gold worming 
Wormling flies in and lands in front of Trebus. Land in! Damn it, boy! What in nine hells are you doing here? Thought I told you to stay with Lemon! Layden bows his head. Lemon is keeping Cyrus company. That's all she does, talks to him. I thought it best to leave her alone. I was sulky, sulky, worried about you when Leanne came and talked to me. I told him I wanted to help to bring Daddy back. He said he'd give me that same enchantment that got you here, and that once that it was safe, I could could go with you. And 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 and, and when when you took took Robin Cordis home. <laughs> and Robin Cordis looks at Grievous, confused. Oh, your son. Well, adopted. My husband crib and his friends found laid in his siblings' eggs, cats, them, and then by raising them. Turns, Priebus turns back to Leiden. All right, let's get going. Uh, he turns back to all you. Collect your treasure, adventurers. Uh, we'll meet you back at the Eyes of Io and uh, get some more information. You're not Layden. gonna help. Leiden lays a claw on uh, Robin Koros and loops Wait. his tail around one of Priebus's legs. Wait a second. We still. Oh no, he's gone. Nope, I, he hasn't done anything yet. What? Um, you might want to ask about the little one that looks like him in at home. He might knows more about why. Well, I mean that's one of the things that we're going to be doing. Good. Rare is this species having two at the same place. Can't imagine the outcomes. Well, maybe, I mean, they're, they're, from my understanding of uh, uh, of Dragons, a lot of them are in the Astral Sea, but uh, the few that uh, serve the Raven Queen, sometimes they, they get cart. There's only one where, where Raven Core is from. But, you know, whatever. Okay. But anyways, see you soon. He brings, he brings the TD fork on, on his hammer. He mutters in the incantation. All right, we can go um, as fast as you guys are ready. Well, uh, what's in the horde? The dwarf, elf, and uh, 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 the half orc and uh, I can't remember what. They, and they, the human, are looking at the treasure, and they they start talking to each other. It says, it says, okay, so. We took a stock of it. This is like after like a couple of minutes. We have uh, th- 30, 34,000 gold pieces, uh, 31,000 platinum pieces, two, two blue sapphire, th- three emeralds, wow. uh, a fire opal, a star ruby, uh, three star sapphires, a, a yellow sapphire. There's a spell so- scroll here for create undead. Uh, we do have some of these uh, uh, neat little uh, noses. Marvelous paint. I want some paint. Uh, we do have some oil of sharpness, and uh, there was a potion of supreme healing here. Okay. Um, I mean, being dragons, we know how to take stock of the boards. Appreciate you doing that uh, so kindly for us. Well, I already have it all in uh, the. Tell me when you want to go back. I probably just can teleport us with the horde back home. Well, I have it, um, I'm, can you write comment that I took the uh, Cribs Bag of Holding? Yeah. Um, I plus, a, um, I think one of you has a portable hole. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Um, but also, um, the dragons are still there. They can take us back. They still have that enchantment that lets them get by fast, but cool. Oh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, never gonna complain. By the way. I'm never going to complain of flying on, the, on a dragon again. I'm so hyped. So I'm gonna open the portal on the ground in front of the horde. The horde is probably like back there, I guess. Yeah, it's it it seems to be kind of all over the place. So he, and, and and they're like like I I do have to say you must really not deal with hordes very often because it's such a mess. It's not organized in any sort of way. Let's organize it at another time. So I'm just gonna start. Um, Putting the stuff in the portable hole. Dragon's help. 
Yeah, I have it all written down in the bag of folding sheet, separate from what the regular our main group. Yeah. But uh, your characters can. I literally just went into I I know a, a site to do some random treasure to a tra- random treasure hoard for the CR of this, and this is what I got. Nice. That's uh. That's a wow. That's an enormous. All right. So last time I flew on you and I point, I think it was the elf, so the uh, silver dragon, right? Uh, the, the dwarf. Says, no, that's me. Oh. Um, I want to fly on another one. Uh, we, well, we, we don't have anybody to do the, the thing that prevented it, so you're going to have to rat on me. I'm sorry. It's okay. You're well, good enough. It's the same, just different colors. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why I'm doing that sort of accent. It's supposed to be more Scottish because he's he's a dwarf and current person. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're all good. Just wanted to more. Who's I mean, the fastest? Well, we're actually we're actually all about the same speed, especially with the enchantment that they put on us. You're gonna tell me none of you is faster than, than one another? That means you never raced, right? Uh, Fish is going to start walking outside. <laughs> As a giant. Oh, it only lasts for 10 minutes, I think. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be probably okay. four and a half minutes. Oh, okay. So, um, whatever you guys are ready, um, I'll be outside, too. Gather up your horde, uh, you hop on your dragons, and speed off eyes and bio. I'm just assuming we're going to sell everything besides the potions, the scrolls, and like the oil. I guess. I guess. Oh. All right. Sorry, I, have, I got a little conversion chart thing, and I know how much each of us get. Why did we get this uh, dragon guy again? Why did we save the Incarnum? Yes. Uh, he is a servant of the Raven Queen, who we are hoping will help us um, some souls. way or another. Yeah, with the soul, collecting the souls or saving the souls. Um, I'm gonna take money of my my money since I'm going to get money and just pay the dragon for the transport. I guess. I mean, they still help at some point. Uh, the the dragons are like, oh, we appreciate it, but um, oh, especially by Clarion Vio. Um, I didn't hear yours. nothing. I didn't hear nothing. Here's for you. <laughs> uh, I suppose if you took it and now are just bequeathing it to us, we will certainly take it. All right. Um. Uh, without selling all the, uh, the actual item, like the scrolls and the oil sharpness, everyone gets eighty-eight thousand five hundred gold pieces. Eighty-eight thousand five hundred. Are we separating that now? That that's well. I I uh, we can just like you can put say that at one point. Like, yeah, we sold it, and that's what just. Of the gems and the gold and the platinum, everyone gets. Oh, the silver the dragon is gonna get like five hundred gold piece, because this is the one that I rode. And you know, like, and they like, they will gladly take. Sure. Since since you already, they they were saying you don't have to, but if you would like to, they'll take it. <laughs> Material compensation is worth for your time, I guess. It's not every day that I'm going to get to ride on the back of a dragon, especially without hurting it. Hey, uh, I'm sorry. How how many gold pieces? I'm sorry. 88500. Cool. There you go. 
anyone wants to get the uh, Nozer Mar Mar Marvelous Pigment beside me? Uh, what time is it? IRL or in game? Yeah, in game. In game, uh, it is getting towards dusk. Uh, this was a wonderful day. Um, I need a drink. I second you on that one. I'm down oh for a drink my, anytime. I agree for sure. It's a necessity. Especially after all of the work I did. Yeah, I cannot drink enough alcohol in my life. Okay, small one. Oh, I can outdrink you any day. Let me brag about that, um, at least. First of all, uh, Squall will go up to Percival and be like, uh, Percival, um, mind if I get my amulet back? Sure. Woo. So, um, I guess there's probably a bar in here, or at least some pl some place to drink. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, uh, Rourke actually, uh, working. Yeah, they have a little dining hall kitchen thing, and uh, it has. Kegs, wine, um, and you see uh, a half elf, a uh, dwarf, and a uh, uh, bra brass dragonborn um, drinking some sort of ale or mead or something. And uh, they seem to already be two sheets. Okay. Well, who wants to drink with me? I'm down. Uh, Squall will go up to the half orc, kind of give him a little massage rub, and uh, once they make eye contact, we. Uh, it, well, while you're trying to, you give him the massage. He actually uh, kind of like uh, caresses your hand. Ooh. He's discreet, not in the public. <laughs> He's, 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 he, he, didn't, he didn't stop me. He caressed. Oh, yeah. He, there's a diff. There's a difference. <laughs> yeah, he's like, like you, you put your hand, and he kind of like puts his hand hand on you, and, and kind of rubs the hand like a loving gesture. Like a bow, wow, wow. Mm -hmm. hey, so I was ready to get a good lay. I'm gonna ask if I can have one hail, please. A big, a big cup. Uh, that's all we have here. He, he grabs a Nothing. really large uh, uh, stein uh, from one of the walls and fills it up for you. Uh, yeah. It's it it's about two feet tall. It's it's my size. <laughs> yeah, it's like just a little shorter than you. Now we're talking. So I'm gonna drink. You got a little pool there. I know. I still want to hop in it, but you know, manners. You have nothing stronger than ale. Uh, we got some wine, mead. We we've got some spirits over here, and there's like this big rack of like different rum and bourbon and just a whole bunch of different alcohols. So probably gonna make me drink. The strongest best. Make me the strongest best drink you can. Me too, please. The 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 hill dwarf and the um, uh, uh, brass dragonborn look at each other and grin, and uh, <laughs> the the dwarf goes. Uh, the dwarf they go behind the bar, and uh, the brass dragonborn lifts him up and stands him on his shoulders, <laughs> and he grabs some. Uh, and the hill dwarf just grabs some bottles the top and just kind of like fills up his his arms arms and then the dragon board uh, brings him down onto must be some sort of step stool or something because it doesn't look he's tall uh, from behind the bar he looks a little bit taller than he would be uh, especially when he went around you saw like just his head but now you see like 
he got more of a mid shot, you know. A, <laughs> a, and uh, uh, he he pulls out pitcher, pitcher, and they, and they just start yeah. like pouring various different alcohols uh, into uh, into the pitcher and fill it about half full. And um, the uh, brass dragonborn pulls out a uh, a a uh, second pitcher, or actually a, a couple of different pitchers. And it sa- says, "Trust me, you want something mixed in this." Are you sure? And he's it, there's like different juices and oh. tonics, tonic waters, and it's like your choice. <laughs> uh, is it because it's gonna taste bad, or because it's gonna be too strong? I mean, for me, I, I take I drink this straight up. Straight up, please, on a hike. Ah, you got a little bit of dwarf in you. Well, for those who looks, my sh- my 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 hail sh- uh, uh, glass is empty right now. Uh, roll me a con save. It's for poison. I'm immune. Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Also, um, when he's uh, like, oh, you have a little dwarf in you, I'm like, not, the f- uh, not right now, but I, I have before. Uh, oh my god. There's a, oh, you can't see me, I'm doing a little jig, though. <laughs> hey, 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 oh, similar. Sorry, uh, you're not the, not the last that I enjoy. I know I have I, a, lot of, a, a lot in common with dwarves. The smallness, the cuteness, and the alcohol addiction. Yeah, I suppose if you're immune to poisons, you just got a hearty constitution. Yeah. But the drink tastes good. And you all uh, get drunk. I watch people get drunk, and I'm like, "Yeah." Um, okay. Most likely, uh, Jordan and Squall uh, 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 end up. Uh, I'm assuming back in the lamp or the, the bottle. Um, and bottle, but lamp in the lamp in his room. What else? Uh, Percy and I'm assuming Percy and Rourke probably. Uh, I don't know how much PDA that. Percy would actually be uh, enjoying it because he's because Rourke is definitely getting drunk. Percy would be playing with him. That Talking sounds a people. lot. That sounds a lot more naughty than I meant it. But he would be like teasing <laughs> him, like put like brushing him with Flirting. his tail I mean, and stuff. It's it's. I, I would think this would be one of the things where where once Percy is uncomfortable with with anything in in public, you guys would probably adjourn to a room. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm gonna be left with the brass dragon. Rourke, it, the Rourke is no no the the, the brass dragonborn would be going with. Percy. Oh, that's not the one with uh, that that slept with me um, in the 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 water pond. Oh, that's the bronze one. Oh, my bad. Yeah, he he didn't sleep with you. He's um, like you at the same you place. Slept, yes, he slept in the same. No, we didn't place. fuck. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Different type of, of sleeping. I am I am Britney Spears song toxic. <laughs> Uh, the the two of the two of the amphibious people yeah. <laughs> were sleeping on the water. Uh, you don't see the bronze dragonborn unless you go outside to water. Well, to when I'm gonna be alone because everybody's either too drunk to talk or gone to fuck, uh, we'll go find my bronze dragon. Uh, yeah, he's he's just. Like you see him like doing some practicing uh, based off of uh, what he's doing. He must be some sort of monk. Oh, yes. Uh, he does a, a, f- a few things, and he, he does some flying um, uh, and, uh, around, and I forget what else. Uh, 
Uh, you do see see he he does some sort of punch and it looks like it actually moves the air. Oh, they're one of those. That's fine. Everybody's too drunk at the bar. So, want to hang out? Okay. Um, I I don't really drink. I can't really get drunk. It's just for the taste. Well, if I I understand uh, uh, grungs are right, uh, you're pretty much immune to poison, so you don't, don't even get drunk. Exactly. I can't really get drunk. But the taste can be good. So. But I'm very, very much, I have a very much affinity to water. But that may be par partly because of my, he, he holds up one of his hands and it, like, when he spreads his fingers, it seems like uh, webbing is able oh. to like retract from it. I get that, Nori. <laughs> um, looking for a training partner. Sure. I know can... my way around the stick. <laughs> I is, bet I don't you really do. Use sticks, right? Very much. Yeah, but at my size, it's uh, I don't want to hit you with my with my hands, just in case. Mm, you'd be surprised. Sure. So we're gonna yeah, do some fun arms. We, we suddenly we we are suddenly uh, acquainted with a scene that that I would say would be very similar to uh, the Stormblood um, uh, uh, trailer. Yeah, like them fighting on the hand. Yeah, yeah. the thing is, the is thing that he he does he does hit you and touch you, but it doesn't seem to affect him. <laughs> but it's gonna be just sparring, since I'm still a martial class cleric. Yeah, I mean, he's you could you could definitely tell that he's pulling his punches, like he's do doing it so that he's. Hitting you so that you feel that that he actually made contact, oh. but he doesn't actually do anything that does too much damage or does any damage. Good. Actually, look at everyone. He's doing non lethal one. Yeah, every everything's definitely unlethal. They said he uh, kind of shows you a couple of things, things that he could do. Um, you see him uh, uh, pound the place his hand on the ground, and there's this burst of uh, uh, thunder around him. Oh, that I like. But magic lets me do that. Yeah, he goes, most, most people, when they do something similar to this, usually do some sort of direction. I prefer just doing it right around me. Um, thunderclap? Uh, no, I believe, I believe it's referred to as thunder wave. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I know. But... Oh, I'll be hopping around trying to quote quote out speedish. Yeah. While jumping and stuff. So we call this the Fist of Four Thunders, and that's what the Thunder Wave is. There's that's also nice. this, and he's he he kind of like um uh jumps back away from you and uh uh he punches towards you and you feel like this like solid uh, air hit you. Nice. Uh, this is referred to as the fist of unbroken air. My speciality is um, dealing with the storms and the seas. For example, and I'm just going to um, cast on their step. Like no, next to it. And, and he. I oh, mean, again, this is kind of like the. This is kind of like 
you, you got to see the Stormblood trailer to to see this because when they're doing it, you see this boom, 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 boom the air vibrating. That's basically kind of what we we've got going on here. Except some of the water from the ocean is rippling because of it. But I've got a change. And, uh, and Squall's not asleep. I'm gonna change the damage of the uh, the thunder step to actual uh, to lightning, and uh, I'm gonna maximize it because I can. Just uh, to the dummy, the poor dummy who's gonna feel it. He he also brings up his arms, uh, and his skin turns to look like stone. Great thing. And I'm gonna he just does a couple of punches, and uh, as he's punching, just these bursts of flame shoot out. That's great. He says, and this is this is one of my favorite ones. And he, he and he inhales, and he blows towards the ocean, and uh, just this cone of water freezes. Yeah, I cannot do that because I didn't prepare that one, but I could do similar. I like that one. I like, um, I have an ability to change the um, manability of my spells. Mostly towards the sound and the lightning. I can do more, but those are the best for me. Now that I've woke up the whole place, care to run away? <laughs> I think we're fine. <laughs> and, it, and it looks and he and uh, you do it, it, he looks back towards the manor and uh, you do see uh, uh, Leon and Bamoon uh, just sitting in a, a like swinging bench, uh, just kind of like cuddled <laughs> up next to each other. And they just kind of like hi, and they've got like smiles on their face, like eh, whatever. They and I think, just I think that's enough in hanging out. <laughs> well, but it's gonna continue, before, but describing is not needed. Before we wrap up um, uh, this session, uh, you have another cutscene. So while you you all are. Uh, uh, hanging out at the uh, eyes bio. Oh, actually, Fish, did you want to do anything besides get drunk? He uh, he just falls asleep at the bar. Uh, while you you all have probably uh, worn yourself out, uh, stayed up uh, too late. Uh, something happens somewhere else. Oh no! Not Nessus. somewhere else. The ninth layer of the hells of Bator, home of the god of devils, Asmodeus. Yet a black raven flies in, following the flowing water of the river Styx from the eighth layer, Kenya. It pulls, it pulls out of its dive to gracefully soar over the frozen lake at the bottom of the falls, banking towards the most prominent feature of the plains city of Melshi, Flying over the vast city, dexterously avoiding the many flying devils that traverse the sky, it approaches the seat of Asmodeus, Fortress Nessus. The doors to the fortress open as a pit fiend exits, looks towards the approaching raven. Swooping down, the raven transforms into a tall, slender woman, slender woman figure with a raven-feathered cloak and cowl. The figure's face appears as a white feminine porcelain mask. It seems gestures to the gods to stand down as the woman approaches. Barbareth? Master bids you welcome, Major. Barbareth bows to the raving queen. I have been directed to escort you to his chin. Thank you. They pass through a multiple of, of corridors with the grotesque Sounds of torture um, and even some of pleasure emanating from behind closed doors. They reach a set uh, of double doors and Balbaris uh, opens them. My lord, I present 
The Raven Queen. He bows and steps aside, allowing the Raven Queen to pass. The Raven Queen walks towards the dais in the center of the enormous chamber. A nine-paned window fills the entire opposite side of the side of the wall. Aside, featuring images from all nine layers of Bator. There are one specifically showing the entrance of the matron of ravens. The dais contains a large throne facing the window with a simple side table with a pitcher and two glasses. The dais slowly rotates to reveal its occupant. A 13-foot-tall, red-skinned tiefling with long, slender fingers and a nine-pointed crown resting on his head. It has been a long time since last we spoke. I believe it was right before you banished oh. Orcus to the abyss. Drink? And before you revealed your true machination. Come now, my lady. It was all for the greater good. If I had not taken this roll, then Bray would still be on Iodron, and the veil would have been successfully put into place. Besides, somebody needed to well, make sure the devils were brought to heal, focus their efforts against the demons. Who knows what calamity would have resulted from them being off the leash? Modius frowns, getting no reaction or expression from the Raven Queen. Well, you didn't come for some idle chit-chat. Why does the mistress of fate grace me with her presence? I come as a favor of the one who you helped save. A cleric, excuse me, clarion of theirs, delivered a request for a certain group of souls, ones which you claimed upon their death in Avernus. Asmodeus frowns. The rules are the rules. They die here. I'm free to claim them. It's true. And you have. Now I request that you hand them into my care. What makes you think that I would do that? You haven't done anything with them. I know their importance as well as you. Or you know their importance as well as I. I didn't know any better. I assumed you collected them before any of the other archdevils got their hands on them. Cosmodius frowned, grimaces. Well, you got me there. Can't pull one over on the goddess of fate. He opens his hands toward the Raven Queen, and six orbs of light slip from his sleeves to float above his palms. I believe these are the unfortunate souls you are looking for. With a flick of his wrist, the orbs float towards the Raven Queen, he guides them into her cloak. Thank you. The Raven Queen turns to leave, but stops. Next time you pull this trick, expect me to ensure souls stop flowing into the hells. Nature of Ravens exits the chamber. And that's where we'll leave it for this week. The sass is real in this one. Yes. <laughs> I mean, she's trying to fuck up with a 30-level card devil. <laughs> oh. It's CR 30. Asmodeus is dangerous. Well, I mean, she's also a god. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> it's like, she doesn't have a CR. Well, she can. <laughs> she can, she can, but she, I'm guessing it would be right up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, 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 these two seem to know each other from even before Asmodeus got to be where he is, so... Hey, uh, so our max HP, would that go back? Yeah. After a long rest, your max B your HP would return. Cool. I felt so squishy. I might have some questions for you guys before next week. What kind? Okie dokie. Yeah. More cutscenes. <laughs> We're, we're, we've we've reached the end of an expansion in in Final Fantasy fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many scene. defensive options. If I can ask, 
Do we have okay. a lot more planned for tonight? Nope, this is it actually. Okay. I'm sorry I've been 